How to install Blender on a Mac. All right, so I'm usually a 3D Studio Max guy, uh, but we're gonna load up a free program called Blender that a friend of mine named Tyler, who's helping on Spell Fury, uh, has recommended because my free 3D Max um, trial is over and it costs a lot of money. So we're gonna go to blender.org and uh, Tyler made me watch something called Dynamo Dreams. Uh, first episode was awesome. Um, and they use Blender, which is free. So let's put this on my Mac so I can play with it and see if it's a lot like 3D Studio Max, which I'm, I'm okay in. I haven't done it in a while, but um, 3D is awesome. So let's go to Download Blender 3.0, uh, Windows, Linux, and other versions. So this is for the Mac. So let's download it. You can also do it for Windows and Linux. Download Blender 3.0. You are breathtaking. Blender is now yours to keep forever. That's a good price, free. Now it looks like it's going to uh, uh, take about 10 minutes to download it. The file is 207 megabytes. Uh, my internet's pretty fast, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Uh, depends on, I guess, on their servers as well. So I may cut to it just being loaded up here. Okay, so here we go. It is downloaded. Blender 3.0.dmg, which is a Mac file. Click open. Nope. Oh, there we go. All right, opening Blender. And it shouldn't take long, I don't think. All right, so let's grab Blender, left click. Pull it into the application folder. And you can also like probably, oh, there it is there. Copying it to applications. We hear the noise. Can we also grab this and put it into the task bar here? There, Blender's down there. Let's click Blender. Have a look. I suspect it looks a lot like 3D Studio Max, but they'll move everything around. It'll be different. And I've played with Maya before too, but 3D Studio Max is uh, what I used to use all the time. We'll say open. We may have to give it permission. Oh, no, it's good. All right. Yes, it looks a lot like 3D Studio Max. So we have the quick setup. Uh, it's like left, right, play, tools, Blender Dark. Next, uh, new files. So you can getting started. You can read this if you want to. I'm just going to try to figure it out. Uh, let's go general. And here we have a box. Can we move it? Where's the move? Okay, here's your little, they call them what? Gizmos? Is that a gizmo? Cursor? Click move. And these are your axes. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And red will go back and forth into the distance. And just get used to using these. And these, I believe, scale. Nope. These are like a free move. I see. And all right, let's look at this. Let's right click. Shade flat, shave smooth. Normally we're looking for like a, oh, there's a difference there. Shade flat. All right, well, there's a difference, right? Shade smooth, shade flat. Um, now, a lot of times it was like F9 was render. Let's see if they use the same. So F9 or F10 would be render. You render, render out a frame. So you could like, oh, there's, that's just audio. <laughs> that did nothing. I lost my audio. Do I have audio back up? Nope, I have no audio. Okay. All right, so we've got our camera over here on the right. Can we move the camera? Oh, there it is, it's just like Max. Now on Max, there was four panes. So can I set that up? That would be like what, my viewport? What do we have over here? Uh, render properties. Okay. Uh, we have, let's have a look. Format, view layer, scene, world, collection, camera. So with your camera, you can animate it. So you can set keyframes. Now, yeah, this is just like Max. So down here you could, I don't know what button it is to set a keyframe, but these are basically your frames. So if regular video is 30 seconds, film being 24 seconds, um, you just, you can set little render points and your camera will move. So on frame one, you would set it here. 
Uh, look for a little key, guys. What's this? Record. Maybe record animation. Add and replace. Let's see if it's recording the move or do we have to do keyframes? And oh, it looks like, see that little thing down there? Now let's move to 90 seconds. So that's like three seconds at 30 seconds for frame and then we're back up. All right, now let's see if it recorded the move. There we go, so I'll hit the space bar for play. And now what we'd like to do is see what the camera is showing because it doesn't look like it's actually aiming at the cube. So what we'd like to do is, now we are recording. So let's go to rotation and then let's try to, maybe that's looking at the cube. And then I bet you look, the rotation is it recorded. Yeah, it's moving back to where it was. Go to the keyframe and then let's move the rotation so we can actually see the, let's see, there. Okay, so you'll see the move and now I should be able to find, where's a four view thing? Render, where are we looking for here? We are looking for animation, rendering, compositing. Where are you hiding? You must have orientation, global. Where are you? I don't want just the one. I want the four. Now, if you've used Blender before, you probably already know this stuff, but I'll find it. I don't like looking through manuals. Render windows, we want window. Here we go, window. Uh, no, a new window, toggle window, full screen. Um, scene collection, where are you? Where are, layout? Maybe layout, is it layout? Why isn't nothing, nothing's popping down. Modeling, layout, default. Normal gimbal, where are you? Is our keyframe still recorded? Okay, yeah. How do I change what's down here? No, no, camera. How do I see what the camera is doing? Toggle x-ray. Um, scripting, compositing, rendering. You'd think it would be in layout, right? Object mode, view, you think it would be in view. Perspective, all right, change the view. Hmm, render, oh, there's viewport, render the animation. We'll see, does that just kick, oh, it's rendering it. So see, there's, there's the camera there, but I want it, I want the view from the camera. Let's let it do its thing. So it's rendering the move we did. Oh, there's the frames there, and 90. Oh, it's going all the way to 250. Now we should be able to set that, looks like over here, start one and 250. So once it's rendered, now we only did the move there, but we could also move the box as well. You can render anything. Sorry, not render, uh, key, it's called keyframing. It's basically adding animation, and then you render it out. Now, where does this go? Does it go to an AVI file? Is it just doing the picture files? Um, let's double click this. All right, so if you only wanted the 90 seconds, let's type in 90, hit enter, and there we go. So if we render now, it'll stop at the 90. Um, so render result, view, um, toolbar. Anyways, guys, I don't wanna just waste your guys' time here. Let me play with this for a little while and I'll do another video about how to use this. It won't take me long. They're all pretty much the same. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe if you want me to keep uh, showing you guys what I'm up to and the skills I do. And, uh, and I'll be doing shots for Spell Fury uh, using this. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.